Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see Salesforce Legacy API versions retirement. Salesforce retires the legacy API versions um, since uh, customers have to move to uh, the latest API versions for better performance and better executions and better transaction times. Whenever the API versions are retired, there are so many chances uh, that our integrations will fail. There are some scenarios where there is a redirection, but still it is not a best practice to uh, reference the older versions. There are se several uh, uh, ways we can try to find out the older versions uh, usage. Uh, usually um, there are uh, uh, two things we have to remember. The first thing is the login with the older API versions and the metadata components with older versions. First, in order to find out the login usage of older API versions, then we can make use of this SQL. I can select user ID, API version, API type and application from the entity called login history where login time is equal to last n days that is for 60 days order by api version ascending unfortunately we cannot uh, pass the or filter the api version in this soql because on the login history uh, the api version cannot be uh, filtered in the query call so if we try to uh, uh, filter using api version it will throw an error so by ordering it by uh, by ordering it uh, using the api version in ascending first we will try to find out uh, the latest versions or the oldest sorry the oldest versions the users are using if there is a bulk api integration job or soap api integration jobs this login um, history entity will hold that uh, api version in the um, api version field or column so use this uh, SOQL to find out if there are any older API versions used uh, try to find out uh, your uh, uh, dev environment or uh, UAT environment or QA environment um, change the API version and then uh, uh, plan during a weekend and update it in production there are so many uh, pros and cons in doing it uh, whenever we update the, the API version in any ETL tool or anything like that, uh, it has to refresh all the uh, uh, tables and columns in uh, um, in the schema. Uh, so it is not just the version change. Uh, it, it refreshes the whole uh, um, metadata components that comes as part of the SOAP API, um, uh, uh, for example. Uh, so plan it test it thoroughly and then promote it to production. Next, using the following SOQLs, you can find out the metadata components that are using older API versions. Uh, if you wanted to check the um, older API versions for Apex class, so in this in this uh, SOQL, I'm using very API version in 55.0 and 56.0. Currently, these two API versions are not getting retired. Just for an example, I'm using this in the query. So using this query, I should be able to find out um, the uh, Apex classes with the API versions 55 and 56. Yeah. So whatever API versions uh, you have uh, from the Salesforce document that are getting uh, retired, you can use that in this uh, in uh, operator similarly uh, for um, apex trigger you can get it from apex trigger entity for apex for visual force pages you can use apex page for uh, visual force component we can use apex component for lightning aura component use aura definition bin bundle and for uh, lightning web component use lightning component bundle Currently, this SOQL is supported only in uh, tooling API. So if you use uh, developer console, uh, select that uh, use uh, tooling API checkbox so that this query will execute.
please check the video description. I have shared my blog post. From the blog post, you should be able to get the SOQLs which are discussed in this video. Using this, these SOQLs, update the API versions accordingly and try to query it in your org. Please do all SOQLs in your uh, sandbox uh, before executing any of them in your production. Uh, my recommendation will be to run all these queries during non-business hours or non-peak hours so that it won't impact the uh, users. If you have huge number of Apex classes comp and, uh, or any uh, metadata components, uh, these queries may run longer. So try to limit it or add, or, uh, or add some additional filters to it. One more easiest way is uh, uh, use VS Code. Uh, using VS Code extract all the components and uh, search with the API name sorry the, the API version number sorry I hope it was helpful thank you for watching